my sunshine sparkle faces it's me mother sparkles happy wednesday i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy in today's video i'll be showing you guys my boy pictures before my transition i was up to like four in the morning last night going through them and i'm like oh my god i can't believe it was weird i'm not gonna lie i got a little teary eyed because it was just so it's so crazy to look back and be like oh my god that was me and just see how far i've come and how much i've grown is so crazy to me sometimes i forget all the hardships i've been through but just looking at these photos just makes me so proud of myself and how much i've been through um and i want to spread the message out to you guys as well i went from that to this okay transition is not an overnight thing so if you're applying to transition don't be discouraged and don't lose hope patience is key all right, nothing's gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take years and months. So we're constantly changing ourselves and we're constantly evolving. And I think it's very important that we have patience during any sort of transition. But anyways, I, I don't know. I was like contemplating if I should even make this video. It's very vulnerable to expose or share photos from the past. I know a lot of people have issues with it. Like I know some girls who have pictures of their old self and they're like, I hate it. I never want to see them ever again. But I feel like I'm just so comfortable. And I'm so confident in who I am that I don't really care that much. Like, cause this is who I am now. Like I'm, I don't look like that person anymore. And sometimes it's like a nice reminder. Like I have this one photo um, in my room that I look at every morning, every time I wake up and I'm just like so thankful. Um, for everything and I just get to see how far I've come anyways rambling on let's get into the video I'm gonna move my laptop over here so we can look at the photos together oh my god please do not judge me oh my god okay so this is the first picture it is my go card of 2010 um, the year I graduated grade 12 which is John on there that's my dead name we don't call Julie John or else there's gonna be a fight um, but yeah, there's me. <laughs> How cute. And yeah, I transitioned right after high school. So there's my go card. I love this photo. I was addicted to tanning and girl, I was so dark. So bad for you. Don't do it. You're going to get wrinkles. Um, but I still do tanning once in a blue moon for my eczema because it controls it. But this back then was so bad. Um, I was a little construction boy and my pretty, pretty friends. We got Brianna. Peyton, Natalie, Kara, and Brienne. So cute, I love these girls. I actually have this photo printed out and it's just so cute. I'm in the middle and all my best friends back in high school. I feel like prom is always such a hard time for transgender people. Back then, like I wish I wore a dress. You know, all my friends are so beautiful, wearing pink and big poofy dresses. And I never got to wear these dresses. I never got to go to prom wearing a dress. So, you know, that's why I am overcompensating now. Like I'm so elaborate with my dresses and I'm just so crazy because I feel like I've missed out so much. Um, but here I am. For graduation, they were handing out like chocolate trophies and me and Brittany actually won the social media prize or trophy or whatever. So here I am still living up to that name. <laughs> This picture is so cute. This was my best friend in high school, Natalie Sheck. I see her all the time and I love her so much. We went to Seattle to buy Ugg boots because they were a little bit more cheap. So we would wear like these like old sandals and then we'd cross the border and then we would buy these Ugg boots and then we'd like switch them out, like throw away the sandals and wear the new Ugg boots so we don't get like taxed or anything like that. So, or pay um, at the border. So yeah, how cute. Here's a picture of me and my little sister. Jacqueline, oh my god, look how sh little she looks. She is not little anymore. She's like, she's like, like a woman now. Like she's a young woman. Oh, I miss her. So it's tiny and cute. <laughs> the next couple of photos are with my mom, and oh god, that might get emotional. Um, but oh god. Mm. So in the family, there were initially three boys. So my older brother Jimmy my younger brother, Jason, and there was me, John. Um, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like I was the smarter boy out of the three. And so my mom really cherished me because I was just like so quick. I was street smart and I just I was very efficient about everything. I was like a good boy. 
So when I transitioned, I think my mom kind of felt like she lost a son, which she kind of did, but like I'm still the same person, but I can see where she's coming from. You know, it's nice to have like that, that male, that boy. I was always a mama's boy. Like I love my mom and I always took her side. And so nowadays I can tell that she misses him. She misses John and she'll sometimes say like, oh, I miss my son. And like that just breaks my heart, you know, because I guess the other two weren't as good as John, but um, yeah, she, she definitely misses John. I don't want her to watch this because she's gonna start crying. Um, but you know, I'm still a wonderful daughter to her. Oh, this photo is really cute too. It was just her birthday yesterday. She turned 49. So yeah, I don't want her to turn old guys. Like I don't want wrinkles on her. Like this is the mom that I love and I'll always love her no matter what. But girl, I'm taking her to get Botox, fillers. And when she's that age and wrinkles are more prominent on her face, we're getting a facelift, mom. Uh-uh, you cannot grow old. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so I had a boyfriend for two weeks and he was like 6'5", he was so tall and he was so cute and like <laughs> He left me after two weeks. I don't know why he was a vegan and like the first date or not the first date Like when I brought him home like after a few days I was like yeah mom like my, fr my friends coming over and I totally forgot that he was vegan and my mom and dad were cooking steak and I was like Oh, dinner's ready. And he's like, oh, I'm vegan. And I'm like, this was like a hit and run kind of thing. Like he just wanted to get in there and get out. Like he was just wanted to penetrate her hole and run. So um, let me tell you something, okay? I'm not a drive by, hit it and quit it kind of girl, okay? Maybe that's why I'm like, I don't hook up with people because I'm like so traumatized. So you know what? You, okay? Oh my God, ew. I look so ugly in this photo, but um, Jeffree Star was such a big inspiration for me back then and right now. Um, I was such a big fan during his MySpace days and all his music and his makeup. Like, he made me feel comfortable in my own skin and such a huge inspiration to me. And I tried to recreate this makeup look, but it was a mess. I looked like an alien. So gross. Um, but yeah, OG fan of Jeffree Star back in the day, girl. Uh, believe it or not. So it's time to look at the sexy boy photos now. Um, oh my god, this is so cringy. I've always wanted to be like a male underwear model, um, but here's the first photo. Oh my god, look, the tattoos. Like, I still have them and they're not like stretched out or anything, so. Oh my god, I'm wearing a Hello Kitty ring. I'm just realizing this now. I've had my belly pierced for a while. Um, I've always been skinny. I've always been so slim. Look at me trying to be all sexy and shit, girl. I can't, I'm screaming. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite photos um, of me as a boy, sexy. I used to shop at American Apparel all the time and I really like this um, jacket. It was like a pleather um, material. Here's another one, a collage of four. Trying to be all cute and sexy, Hey, I was always into photo shoots, like look at me, trying to pose and be all cute. Like, this was my favorite hairstyle because it was kind of like to the side of it. Um, yeah, that was really cute. Okay, so this is a really cute photo of me. It was during Halloween and I was like a slutty angel <laughs> wearing nothing but cute little white boy shorts and angel wings. Sexy. This is a hot photo. You can see my six pack abs, but I had no chest. Like I was so skinny, like I'm still so skinny. So I feel like my abs are more prominent, but look at me with those sexy eyes, honey. You know you want some, eh? Eh, girls, boys, would you? Eh? <laughs> this one is a very wholesome picture. It's very cute, very boy um, on the prairie, very innocent and angelic, but little do you know, he's a little bottom ass bitch. All right, last photo is a super cute one, me holding a teddy bear. I've always been into like taking pictures. A little bit of a vein problem, um, but look at my digital camera, my Hello Kitty ring, my piercing, I was such, I was such a little gay boy. I feel like I'm so gay that I transitioned. Like maybe I don't want to become a woman. <laughs> so there you have it, a trip down memory lane. I hope I didn't scare you guys too much. Um, it's just so crazy to see these photos. It's nice to go back and revisit them once in a blue moon so you can see how much you've grown. 
So I'm just so grateful for my family and my friends and anyone who has ever supported me through my transition, especially on YouTube here. I remember like in one of these photos, I created a YouTube channel, right? So most of you guys have really grown with me if you stuck by since the beginning and I'm so grateful for your support and love. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys liked this little video to see all pictures of myself. I'm pretty sure I can find more, but this was just the handful that I found last night. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.